Hi everybody, I'm Patrick. And I'm James. And we have a special treat for you today. We have a rapid fire version of Two Lazy Guys. Now you don't normally think laziness and rapidity go hand in hand, but today they do. James. Yes. Exactly. Well done, sir. What we're going to do today is very simple. You may remember our friend Devin. He sat in with us on the Rise of the Zombies review. And Devin has come up with uh, ten actors and ten actresses. No, five of each. Five of each. Five of each of the test, and he passed that test. Five actors, five actresses. We do not know what's on his list. He's going to shoot them at us, and we're going to give our opinion of the best movie by this person and the worst movie. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do a male and then a female. Uh, mix it up a little bit. Uh, I had a little trouble picking these out, uh, but I went with some of the good ones, and uh, others picked them to see if I could trip you all up. So, to start with... Bill Murray. Bill Murray. Best movie, Caddyshack. Uh, worst movie, uh, Ghostbusters 2. Caddyshack, that's my favorite. Worst, I would have to say. Plus some trends of Okay. All right then, next. Jodie Foster. Uh... Best movie, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, worst movie, uh, Nell. Best movie, Silence of the Lambs. And worst is Panic Room. I would have said uh, Contact Point, but anyway. Uh, uh, John Candy. Best movie. Armed and Dangerous. Worst movie... Cool runnings. Best one's planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, worst is going to be any other ones. <laughs> Anyone that's not planes, trains, and automobiles. Yes. Uncle Buck, Great Outdoors, Wagons East. Yeah, let's go with that. Moving on. Oh, sorry. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Mm, well played, Devin. <laughs> Best movie. I know what you did last summer. Worst movie. Uh, I still know what you did last summer. <laughs> I'll say her best was I Know What You Did Last Summer, but worst, I'm going to have to say Heartbreakers. That's a good movie for other reasons. Okay. All right, Patrick. All right, let's do this. Sean Connery. <sighs> yep, I did it. All right, best movie from Russia with Love. Worst movie... Zardoz. 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 From the ones I've seen, I'm going to say best, just because I'm a fan, would be Indiana Jones. Good choice. Uh, worst is, for me is going to be, he's with the, what's her name? Oh, Entrapment, Entrapment with Catherine Zeta-Jones? Yeah, yeah I'll go with that one. Okay, okay. that'll work. Right. That'll work. All right, then. Sally Field. The best movie... Uh, Oh, sorry. Soap Dish. I love that movie, Soap Dish. I loved it then, I love it now. Worst movie, probably Smoking the Bandit 2, which is damn near unwatchable. I'm going to say uh, no favorite, and I don't know the rest because I don't, I don't care much. She's a flying nun. I don't care. I don't... She was at Lincoln. She played Mary Todd Lincoln. Did you not remember I told you I didn't watch that movie except the very first part? But she was really good in that first part, wasn't she? Mrs. Doubtfire? Mrs. Doubtfire? Smoking and Bandit? Alright. Can I, can I get something like a pass on that one? Uh, sure, why not? There are no rules. Alrighty, I'm going to throw another uh, tricky one for you. Okay. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Shawshank mm. Redemption is the best movie. Worst movie... Is Dreamcatcher, that Stephen King movie. Yeah. Awful. Terrible. Horrible. I will get it. Charles Shank, that's just an awesome movie all the oh, way around. Yes. They play in so many movies, but I He's can't. in every movie ever made, so just pick a movie at random. He's probably in it. I'm going to have to say Safe Room. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> Works for me. Safe Room or Safe Room 2. All right, then. Uh, moving on. 
Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Boy, that's a hard one there. Favorite movie, True Lies. This close, Halloween's this close, but True Lies just for the dancing scene. Worst movie, um, that's that movie with the Yugos. You know, Danny DeVito's in it, and they're in that community. I can't think of the name of that movie. It was horrible. What about one that you do remember the name of? That I didn't really care for? That's uh, for. Halloween Resurrection. She was in the first five minutes of that film. Mm. And if you're going to bring back Michael Meyer, make it a good reason. And they didn't. I would say uh, my favorite is uh, Halloween. Close second. My worst one, just to make you mad, is True Lies. That makes me furious with anger, James. But it was a good movie. Did you see the dancing bit? I know. It's awesome. Okay, what's next? All right, well, uh, this one will be uh, easy because uh, he's only done mm, well over 200 movies. Mm -hmm. Samuel Jackson. I don't know any movie that he's done. I don't, who's that? Who's that? Sa Samuel who? Not familiar with that one. Look, James, look, I don't want to hog all the limelight, no, 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 buddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, best movie. Pulp Fiction, I mean, that's the one that really put him on the map. It's one of those things where he could read a phone book and make it interesting. I'm going to go Pulp Fiction, worst movie he's been in. Probably his version of Shaft. That came out in 2000, 2001. <sighs> There's a reason I didn't make any more of those. But I'm going to have to say Pulp Fiction mm -hmm. is best. I'm going to say this is worse because I didn't like the way he died in it. Deep Blue Sea. That's one of the best movies ever! I like the movie. I just don't like that he died in it. I like because you didn't anticipate that dude to die in that movie. Especially given a speech. That's okay. And he probably okay. made the most money off that movie. Probably made a lot of money. I'm in this movie in 20 minutes, but you're going to remember it. All right. All right, our last uh, but not least. Last one already, James. Yeah, last one already. Reese Witherspoon. Best movie she's in is... A movie called Twilight, not the vampire movie. This movie came out uh, late 90s. It has Gene Hackman, Susan Sarandon. Uh, and she is in it. It's her own only nude scene. But besides that, the movie is very good. Paul Newman's in it. I'm going to say that's her best one. Worst one. Worst movie. Worst one was probably Legally Blonde 2. Which I'm afraid to admit I have seen. And I thought it was loathsome. My best is going to be Man of the Moon. That's that's my favorite just because so she started, she did good. Oh, okay. It's a decent movie. Alright, what's your uh, least favorite? Uh, it would have to be Legally Blonde 2. Legally Blonde 2 is pretty it was bad. horrible. The first one was okay. But the first one I was mildly amused by. Not really my cup of tea, but I was surprised how amused I was. And then we got this one. Okay, is that it, is that it Devin? That is it. Whew! How do you feel, James? I feel disoriented. <laughs> we might do this again sometime. If you want a quickness, bring it on. Alright. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We have t-shirts now. Go get a t-shirt. Two Lazy Guys t-shirts. I'll put a link. Go to the link. Cafe Press. All right, well, the links will take you to places. Get you a t-shirt today, won't you? Alright, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh!